Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistrell here. Today for FNM on Arena, they have Historic Brawl as the format. Now, I had to throw together really quickly a deck, just a Brawl deck. I didn't have a Brawl deck made, so because of that, I don't have a lot of great staples. Also, you may have noticed that the quest was uh, 20 white or black spells, which are the two least utilized colors on Arena for me. My standard deck is Rug, is Teamer, so you sort of imagine that. So I decided I was going to throw together a quick little mono black Izareth deck. And it's silly, but we'll give it a shot. Let's see. Alright. And then, let's play. Making sure it's, yep, there it goes. Gotta make sure I'm recording. Alright. Now, ideal draws allow you to curve out. Uh, y you probably already know <laughs> what I have going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing that deck. <laughs> we're doing that deck. <laughs> Alright, so we'll, we'll let that come in tapped. <laughs> the only cards in the deck other than Swamps and Rat Colony, I have one Memorial to Folly and one Witch's Cottage. And that's it. That's actual factual it. And at this point, the opponent has to be rolling their eyes. Oh boy, good times. Alright. So I will play a rat first. Izareth has a... Alright, we'll attack first real quick. There we go. Izareth has uh, the ability to bring creatures back from your grave, and so I'll be incentivized to attack and then play Izareth on a following turn. Or on that same turn. Later on, I should say. Okay. I mean, we'll just hit him again, I guess. Hit him for even more. Now, it's Heliod, so ex I'm expecting life gain. But, theoretically, we have ne lethal next turn. But they haven't conceded, so... Alright, uh-oh. Here come the 1-1s. One uh-oh. 2-2, two -two, actually. And a 1-1. One -one. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, now stuff is happening. It's a very technical magic term. Stuff is happening. And I think I'm supposed to wait. Indeed, we'll be able to play both rat colonies next turn, and unless they can swarm the board here, we should be okay. Maybe. That's the hope, anyway. We're going to be able to attack for 40 next turn. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh boy. Gains lifelink. Maybe they'll wait on that. Maybe they'll hold that up. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. No, that's fair. That's definitely fair. Um... Okay. And we don't have any removal, unfortunately. Not sure why they did it that way. Alright. Now, four creatures can attack. We're still going to wait. That threw me off a bit, unfortunately. Yeah, see, not the most viable of decks. Not exactly the most viable. Hopefully we draw land next turn so we will. Ooh, uh-oh. It's not getting any better. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I think we've lost. I think we've lost. So I can attack with the team and then play Izareth and try to get... Oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're in trouble. Alright. 
Hiya. That's a lot. At least it's gonna force them into some interesting blocks. If nothing else. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, so I have them at five. It's not the end of the world. And then we can play Izareth and try to get some more back. They're going to play another creature with a Johnny. At the very least, we know they're going to do that. Uh, then we won't be able to swing through. That's where Izareth comes in. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to be a good game for me. <sighs> well, I'll keep going. We have a quest to complete, after all. But, <laughs> live by the stupid deck, die by the stupid deck. I'll give them the good game, and concede. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's that's sort of how you expect all of them to go. Rat Colony decks, you anticipate getting worse, as the card pool for them worse relatively over time. The card pool doesn't get any better as it goes on, whereas for every other deck, they get more and more and more toys to play with. Now, we do have some cards I could have put in, but I've... I've been saving my wild cards, and some I'm going to be getting in the historic uh, bundle. So I'm trying not to spend wild cards on them. So this is pretty underpowered. Okay, so we'll start off here. Always great to be on the play when you're the rat colony deck. Croxa, okay, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And we'll discard a creature because uh, we're going to be able, hopefully, to get it back with Witch's Cottage anyway. Kind of. Kind of get it back. And then it dies. Unfortunately, though... Oh, oh, they're attacking. I was about to say they could just hold it back as a blocker. Oh, you know, I could have used Izareth there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Oh boy. Uh-oh. There's a wall. No blocks. Okay. Guess I dig this. Yes, I will make sure that I... I get my next drop as a as a rat colony. Oh boy. Uh no. That footlight fiend, that's that's tricky unfortunately. Not to say they don't have a sack outlet. They definitely do. But right now, okay, so Crocs of Mana is up. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a nice two for one. No block still. Alright, they can just poke me to death. Alright. Hmm. It's okay. Just assemble the Legion over here. Alright, we'll see what we have going on. We also like not to attack because then Croxa can come back. Uh, they can block with their creatures, fill their graveyard. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, nice. We actually might be okay with making this one. 
How many do you have? Still two? Okay. No blocks. No blocks. Okay. Don't play that yet. Hmm. Alright. So here they come. <clears throat> uh oh. And then they get to kill another one with the trigger. Alright. And then pass. Still probably should have played more patiently. Alright. And then here comes... Oh, never mind. Not what I was expecting. We're just about dead, though. Well, we are dead. Uh, we are dead, actually. Alright, I, I goofed. I still wasn't going to win had I held back, but I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> At least the games are over pretty quickly. If nothing else, you can move right on to the next one. I'm sure you're, you're understanding all kinds of new play patterns here. Now, a simple deck like Rat Colony, how could I possibly misplay it? Well... Well... Oh! Okay. Papa Zan. Alright. <clears throat> sure. We will keep. Alright, but it's a Galta deck, so it's going to be low to the ground creatures dot deck, so... Uh, we'll see. At least it's not removal dot deck. That would not be particularly great. Look at those cute little eyes. No. Alright, Galta. Yep, see? And they got to go first. Uh-oh. Give them the hello. Hello! Oh no. Well that was quick. That was really quick. Holy crap. Uh, okay, so we're going to play Izareth next turn just to block. Oh, great. Ow. This isn't what you'd like to do, but you do what you have to do, I guess. And they have a way to gain life. Ah! Hmm. Okay. Whale. Reading it. Yeah, that has death touch. Oh no. Well. Oh, it just deals damage. It's not fight. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna call that here. I'm gonna call that here. <laughs> That's way, way too quick for me, unfortunately. Just a, just a little bit, just a lot. So my first pre-release actually was uh, Return to Ravnica, which was Pack Rat the pre-release. If you if you got Pack Rat, you won. Is pretty much how that went. Uh, now, granted, thankfully they had the old Mulligan rule back. Oh an old mulligan rule <laughs> a few ago where you know your hand size actually got smaller each time which is fine which is great because otherwise pack rat would have been even worse if any card should be banned in in limited that that sounds like a strong contender to me all right not sure if i gave them the hello ah there we go that's <laughs> I can't blame them. I can't blame them at all. <laughs> well, uh... 
Ta-da! Alright, here we go. Nylia's intervention. Alright. Let's see. Um. Okay. Seems fine. We'll keep playing. We, we have to get another win. We have to get an actual win in here somewhere. Maybe. Ooh, okay. Okay. 3-5 can't be blocked. Exiles when she hits. And then she has this weird, if you get three Atrata counters, hit counters, yeah, Vampire Assassin. I wish they had ninjas on Ravnica so we could have a Vampire Ninja. But we do get a free mulligan, not that we need it. we go. We'd like a few more lands, ideally, I suppose. Alright. Hopefully, this will be the kind of deck that's a little too slow to deal with this. Hopefully. Alright, lands down. Yay. <laughs> Which one should I have played? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Well, now when joy of playing Rat Colony is that removal is usually more sparse in Brawl because it's Brawl, it's a singleton format. You can't be hyper-efficient by running four of the best. There also aren't that many Wraths on Arena. Alright, so what's your deal? Okay, that's fair, I suppose. Um... I can wait. Okay. Playing your land before your opt. I guess they want to keep up the uh, the triple black. Ah, uh, well there we go. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, removal the deck. That's not great. Um, I can play Izareth instead. It would be more mana efficient. Sure. Well, kind of. I mean, I get one rat colony and waste one mana this turn, uh, but I'm going to have to spend two mana next turn anyway. Uh-oh. That's fine. Used up a, a removal spell on her instead. I can live with that. Land. 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 No. 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 Alright. We can do this. We can still manage. It's a guild gate. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder. Alright. No blocks. Still no land. Okay, Whale. They can get a 3-5 out. She'd be... Oh. Uh... I don't know that I like that as much as just playing my commander. Hmm. Okay. Well, fair enough, I guess. 42. We are well out of threat range from Ashiok. I wonder if I should attack. Probably not. She's a 3-5. Etrada. Did I say Urtai? I said Urtai a bunch. Etrada is a 3-5. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to wait, I think. Oh, no, we're still not doing it. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. So we can play Disinformation Campaign. I do rather like the concept of Notion Rain as a card. You're seeing the Matrix. Alright. And then discard that. To actual no one's surprise. 
I think I'd be more worried about Ashiok if I saw any other mill elements. So far I don't. I haven't. Okay. Yeah, now we need to start... We need to start hitting them. Okay. That's alright. Even if they play Atrada next turn, we'll play another Rat Colony, and we'll be able to swing for lethal. Well, I mean, I'm sure they have an answer. They have another creature. That works. There you are. Okay. So now we don't have lethal. Well, no we don't. We still don't, but we're going to force them to block with both creatures. Alright, they have a counterspell, maybe. Quelch. Alright. Force them to block with both. I'll lose my creatures, but... and they're probably in okay shape. They're, they're almost certainly in okay shape. They have a lot of cards left to go. I would be surprised if they don't have something. But, we'll have lethal on three creatures next turn. Plus, they don't know about our other rat colonies. Uh-oh, there's Drown. Okay. Uh oh what's this? No maximum hand size at the beginning of your... Okay. I, I don't care. that game? They have one more card. No, no, that's right. They can play a Trotta again. Oh, they're tapped out. Alright, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. An actual legit win. Make, nothing else? Nothing I'm missing? Alright, we got there. Right, we got an actual legitimate, wi legitimate win. <laughs> Alright, but since that was silly, since that was that not that doesn't count. That that doesn't mean much. All right. All right, let's see what our prize is. It's a mythic, biogenic ooze. Okay, one of those takes over the game on its own creatures. I dig that. That's certainly fair. Let's see what our quest progress is. Oh, it's done. Okay, so now we can just start playing regular stuff. I like to give Delver a bit more show Delver a bit more love. Oh, yeah, there's only so long that you can play Rat Colony every turn. <laughs> there's probably, I would imagine, also only so long that you can watch <laughs> Rat Colony every turn, so this is the uh, obligatory commercial break while we transition between archetype. Okay, let's see. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, hmm, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take the life loss here for both of these. Terramander and Glimpse. Terramander's our, uh, Glis it's our, not Glistener, our Delver of Secrets. Oh, hi, Mono Red Knights. Or just Mono Red Aggro. Uh-oh. Well, now I need to be a little more cautious about that, a little bit more careful. Um, if I play the glimpse here, then next turn we'll be able to kill it with Beacon Bolt on one. But to play the glimpse, teeny tiny problem. Okay. We might just take the, tr or no, it has first strike. We can't trade. Ah, uh, great. All right. Risky for the biscuit. In turn. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh wait, they have no cards in their grave, so it deals zero, right? Okay, undergrowth zero. Oh no, wait, it no, that's not how that works. It it's the it's plus X plus O, but it already starts at three. That's fair. 
that I got it now. All right, we'll just do this now. Hmm. We didn't find a land. So, I can play a creature, that's what I'll do. I'm not going to block anyway, so I guess I might as well attack. This, this next part's going to hurt, though. Oh, it has reach! Daggummit. It has reach! Ah. <laughs> I'm so... It's not like that happened on camera or anything. I knew that had reach. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. Serious time. Focus time. I'm glad that's not ranked. I'm so glad I'm not playing ranked right now. Um, I've had too many disconnections to try playing ranks just yet. Oh, jeez. And I'm going first. Uh, YOLO. Oh, Anime Kaya. Boondocks Kaya. Shoutouts to Boondocks. Legitimately one of my favorite shows. Insert comment section war here, because I said that. Alright, but here goes. Alright, Paradise Druid? Okay. Yeesh. Um... You first? Okay. Hmm. Guess we'll just attack. Okay. Yes, I love how it, it technically gives you Sleep of the Dead as an option. Technically. Uh oh. Okay. Ah, uh, great. Still can't be touched. That's not pleasant. It's not ideal. Okay. So in that case, I guess we'll go Radical Idea first. Right. Let's go with that. Ooh, okay. Better late than never, I suppose. Alright. And then, theoretically, I think that we could win next turn. Theoretically because of a uh, raking clause giving double strike to the bigger one uh oh uh oh so they gain two oh jeez they gain two twice now i'm not so sure okay i haven't seen removal yet so i'm actually just going to play the crackling drake here give me a card deeper into the deck Increase the damage output. Okay. Um. Whale, here goes nothing. Please do something. Actually, no, please don't. Please don't do anything. Uh, okay. I can live with that. So they're gonna gain a bunch of life. They're gonna gain six. Alright. We can, we can still manage, I think. I hope grief, I hope. Alright, so we can Lava Coil targeting you. Maybe hurt their damage output just a little bit. It's fine, because Beacon Bolt will scale, so it'll still get bigger as it goes on. I had a Sprite Dragon. I'm a good magic player, folks. Trust me. What do they have that can grant trample? Serious question, I don't know the answer to that. Actually, 
Yeah, we'll do this now. That one has value and it's in the yard anyway. Okay. Ta-da! Alright. One more turn. Please. And we have a blocker. Please give us one more turn. Please, I beg of you. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot to deal with. Ah. Uh... Yeah, what can you do? It was hexproof. What can you do? Alright. Actual focus. Actual game. Actual game. Make sure we play correctly. As best we can. As much as I like talking to you. And I, I imagine it's probably a little less interesting to watch a video where the other person's just the whole time, <laughs> but I am distracting myself. All right. Oh, it's. <laughs> All right. Keep. It's uh. That's totally how you pronounce it. It's <laughs> FBLTHP, I think. So. <laughs> Alright. Hide information about what we're playing. Alright. And now that the scry is done, there we go. <sighs> okay, so this one needs to be. We'll do an island. There we go. Maybe it's the same deck. We'll see. You never know. Just took the two for no reason. Alright, poke him for one. And pass turn. Oh, there we go. You see, the two from the steam vents probably didn't matter. Just maybe. Ah, uh, now they, on the other hand, did hit that land drop. Oh boy, okay. Well, we'll do what we have to. Ah, uh, okay. Take it. We will take it. Hiya! Ah, uh, okay. I'm waiting to see Sprite Dragon. Who knows what this could be? This could be somebody's RAL deck. This could be Thousand Year Storm. This could be anything. Oh uh, well. It could be you. It could be me. Alright, come on. Pass. Whale. Okay. Spectral. No, opt. Is the, uh, the spy from Team Fortress 2? It could be you! It could be me! Alright. Oh, they did have another color. Oh, this is the, uh, the Jeskai... What is it? Not Song. Oh, dear. Land, okay. We got there. We got there. Managed to get there. So, I guess I do... Uh-oh. We have three creatures. I'm assuming that the first one's going to get countered. So, what's the, what's the order? At the very least, the first one gets countered. I guess that settles it. We'll play Temple because of Crackling Drake. Or we'll play Crackling Drake because of Temple, rather. I think we're good on you. Uh, and Counterspell. That's, yep. Fair enough. Now we just have to run through a wall of those. Uh, which is why I'm running uh, God Eternal Kefnet last. Uh, that's the one I think I most want to resolve.
And I played that there because of Quelch. All right, there we go again. Ow. If Kefnet resolves, it no matter how much damage they do, it should be, it should continuously come back. Oh, hi. Okay. So if brainstorms, yep. Okay. It starts off with a brainstorm, and then when it dies, uh, scry two. Shuffle, scry two. Okay. Well, this isn't great. And they still have ionized mana up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I'm supposed to play Kefnet here nonetheless, while it's less likely to fail. And... Nope, there it goes, actually. There it goes. Then I'll play... Sleep. There it goes. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. I can live with that. I mean, they use a counterspell on a spell that I can cast turn after turn after turn. Ooh. They give him the good game. Well, I have enough damage. I can try to make it through this. It's not going to work, but I can try. If this gets countered, I'm just in trouble. Okay. Alright. Please give that back to me. Oh, okay. Neat. I didn't even have to make the choice there. Okay, well, we can try as best we can anyway to <laughs> to ride the 5-5 five five flying train. Okay. Whale. Hmm. So yeah, we'll, we'll start off with this just to make sure that it resolves. So otherwise we lose. Well, I mean, we're going to lose anyway, but I will I will make them work for it. All right. So they didn't play Chemister's Insight just yet. All right. What else do you have? There we go. There we go. All right, gotta hold up that counter spell for you know what's coming. I'm gonna play Kefnet first, force them to counter that, and then if not, I'll at least get a uh, instance of sleep in. All right, do you have it? No, they don't. Okay. Nope. Oh no. Let's see if we can just keep this tied down the rest of the game. Um... Okay. Now we start digging into Terramander, but we have so much mana, I think we're okay. Alright. And then pass, and then take control of it, or kill it, or... Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, let's do this again, I guess. Um, hmm. 
Oh, great. Yeah, we have to. Oh, no, 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 not you. Not you. I'm not playing that land. I might need it for Beacon Bolt. Oh, we're so close. We're still going to lose, but we're so close. Uh, 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 they got me. They got me good. I knew it was coming, but I wanted to play it out. You win 0% of the games where you concede. So, might as well. Might as well try. Alright. Keep going for a little bit. If I can get two wins... Just to use up the uh, 250 and 100 coin bonuses. That'd be nice. Then it starts cutting down pretty sharply. Card 50, card 50, card 25, card 25, I think? No, 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 we, we have two more 50s in there. So it's like, card 50, card 50, card 50, card Okay. I don't even know what I'm saying now. Alright, play you. As much as I'd like another land, I can live with that. Ooh, okay. They can kill this. We can kill their stuff. Alright. This is a really strong deck now. I'm not going to miss it when it's gone, but this deck is... Ooh, oh, there it goes. It has earned its place. Okay. I'd like to get another... Well, no, that's an instant. Just wait. Oh, just all of the Scorch Spitters. This is a lot of damage coming my way. I'm going to try to stem the bleeding a little bit. They seem to have missed their land drop too, after all. Oh! Oh, okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, we need a land. Okay, um... Let's go. There's a land. Okay. Oh boy. Oh! Should have saved a lava coil for it so I could exile it. You genius. You genius. Okay. Three other cards. Gee. Okay. We just... We have to stem the bleeding a little bit. I don't know that we are going to have enough time to stabilize against them. Even with this much removal. I don't think we are. Ooh, that helps. That helps for sure. We might be able to make it. I'm gonna play this now so I can try to get a land drop. I did not. Okay. Because <sighs> if we found a land drop, then I'd land drop on the next turn, we could use Beacon Ball and Jumpstart. As it is now, though, we're in trouble. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what that is. Oh, and they're gonna have it next turn.
Yeah, we have to. We're not dead, but they're going to be able to play Phoenix this turn, and I'll have to block with Terramander. Never mind, we're dead. We're dead. Alright. So the Lava Cool misplay ended up not mattering. They had me regardless, but I still should have done that correctly. We're just not having a... We're having an off day so far, it seems. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Oh, maybe this will help. Wake me up a bit. All right. Yeah, we'll keep. It's fine. Flourishing fog. Oh god. Whale. No. Oh hi. Yeah, we need to... Oh, jeez, there's two of them. Okay. Well, that's an issue. That one. Why? Why not? That one specifically. So, apparently, domesticated foxes are a thing. I saw that on, uh... I saw trained foxes on YouTube. It's the craziest thing. Oh, no. They might be able to get out of another lava... Well, it doesn't matter. I don't have one. Another lava coil. Um... Opt? Mmm... We might actually be able to use that as a removal spell with Kefnat. I'm gonna have to get a little creative. If we can make it long enough, God Eternal Kefnet Raking Claws. Get an island. Alright. Oh, they didn't make- oh, they don't have- they didn't have any cycle effects, because it just immediately passed to them. That's interesting. Didn't even give them the option. Alright, well, now we're in really decent shape, aren't we? If I don't attack here, they're gonna know something's up. We'll play Winged Words. And yeah, no cycle effects. That's... And they had they just drew a land, so still nine. What is going on? Ooh, okay. Nice. Yes. Um... Hmm. I think we're good on lands. I think so. And then we'll put you third... Yep. That's fair. I'm kind of tempted to just play Anticipate and go and get Kefnet right now. In fact, I think that that's exactly what I'll do. Ta-da! Guess who's back? Back again. Jay is back. Tell a friend. Okay. The way that it orders the lands here is really odd. I don't know why it decides to put the two non-basics away from each other. Sleep of the Dead. Uh, decline. Play Temple. See what we have on top. A Crackling Drake. Okay. Hmm, okay. 
Doesn't matter. I guess I could try to fire Opt off next turn. Probably better to just get the extra card though. Winged words. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked out. I would have gotten an island. Look at how many cards we still have in hand. Ooh, okay. Yeah? Alright. It's at three. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. So that, that at least counts as an actual win, but they seem to have missed all of their cycling effects, apparently. So, that's a bummer. That's a little bit of a bummer. Alright, get one more win in. One more. Uno mas. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh. Flexible enough to... I don't think the camera can see. I can clasp my hands together. <laughs> Not for any reason, just we can. Alright, we'll keep. This is fine. It's a nice little curve to it. Three lands and one, two, three, four. It's not to say that we'll play it that way. We do have a temple. Hmm. Let's see what they're on first. Also, anime Narset. Is it not? There we go. Anime Narset. Um. Hmm. Might be better to play Opt on turn one. Alright. Pass. That's okay. Maybe it was better, it would have been better to do the temple. I'm trying to save the scry though. Alright. Are you going to counter an opt? Okay. Uh, I can wait. That's fine. There we go. Alright, so we have our anticipate. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna get to play Temple next turn and have Lava Coil shenanigans. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, that's not to say they won't counter it. They absolutely will counter the Lava Coil. But it's one less counter for Crackling Drake, I suppose. Unless it's Negate. Alright. So on to my turn. Yeah, they have something. It's giving them way too much delay. Winged Agent. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm not sure then if I should go for the Night Bonder, or... Ooh, hello. Hello. I mean, I guess we can have our cake and eat it too. I would like to deal with the shark before it can come down. That seems good in this matchup. Insert Sharknado reference here. Um. Try that out. Miss your land drop, please. Nope. Well, kind of. At least it came in tapped. If nothing else, at least it came in tapped. So the the counter shark. One of my favorite silly, silly wing cons. Okay, so things we can do here. Um, lava coil. Gonna try to burn the lava coil. Well, I've they could have quelch. See if it works. Alright. It does mean I give up my turn, though. Okay. It's the much more conservative play. It might end up being better, though. Alright. 
So we're going to play a naked winged words. See if we can bait something out here. Ooh, okay. Ah, uh, we'll just, yeah, you. Just you. I'm playing this like I'm the control deck. There's a, a very famous magic article called Who's the Beatdown? Where in in matchups like this, you and your opponent are each trying to assess which one happens to be the, uh, the beatdown player, the one that's trying to win through being aggressive, and which one's the control player. So I'm going to play Winged Words here. I'll still be able to uh, transform to adapt Terramander for one mana after this. If they respond now, I can adapt it for two. Okay. Hmm. We'll pass. And is it dead? Alright. Kill it. Still going. Okay. Yeah, I can't let something like that just draw them four trillion cards. It, it won't work out well. Alright. Activate. See if they respond. If they do. Oh well. <laughs> I mean, they have a response, clearly. Okay. Hmm. Combat first, of course. This should be bigger than everything they have except for the shark. But the shark can't fly. At least I hope the shark can't fly. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. We'll do this so that we can thin the deck a little bit. Make it more likely we'll draw a live card. Get a mountain. Alright. And counterspell. Oh, no, we got there. If it didn't work, we have Castle of Antris, so we'd find another answer eventually. And then pass turn, and it's dead. Well, they do have double blue up, so... Scorn to bounce it, I guess? Heartless Act. Yep, there we go. It did. It was dead. And what's the other one? Remove up to three counters. Okay, well... Hmm... Deck thinning. Maybe. Look at all these lands. Good grief. And pass turn. We're looking like we're in okay shape, I would say. Ooh, okay. Whale. Whale. They would have to counter quite a lot for me to be worried about that. Alright. I think we're in an okay shape. We have more cards. We have the ability to scry every turn. Uh, I mean, I like both of those. Sure. Do it that way. Save that island. Or save the, uh, yeah, the island. Counterspell. Alright. Actually, I will need the, uh, the island to be played if I'd like to use Vantress this turn. Doesn't matter. Alright. Does not end up matter. Yeah, it does. We'll play the island. Hello? Oh, okay. Ha ha. Now, there we go. So that's good information. Now we know that the shock isn't really all that great. The object of the game for us is just to throw a bomb at them every turn, basically.
All right, what do we have? That's okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, let's just do this every turn. I, I do rather like the sound of that. Uh, is it dead again? Okay. Uh, sure. So it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Gets me a card, <laughs> gives it a counter. That works. I would say that that works. And I guess I should probably put a stop on my upkeep for later on. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, no, no. Okay. What is this? And loses abilities, right? Uh, okay. Alright. So there goes that. Let's see what we can find. The deck doesn't actually run that many win cons. Hmm. Okay. It's only running 12 creatures. Ooh! But I gave up the ability to cast it this turn. Maybe. Totally. Alright, cool. I imagine the opponent can't be particularly happy with this. Castle Vantress turns out really good card. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I swear. I swear. Alright. There we go. Alright, good. Stuff. Stuff is happening. Pass. And we have the scry out. Okay. We can live with that. That is fine. The opponent has to have taken note of the fact that we don't have counter spells. At least we haven't played any counter spells. And that's true, that's not the kind of deck we are. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Bird in the hand. Okay. So start off with you. Exile the crap out of you. It's a very technical magic term. Gee, I wonder where that was going to be. At this point, yeah, we'll take Kefnet. Alright, what do you have? If you respond, I'll play Kefnet and you won't be able to stop it. Okay. I think we're good. Yes. Yes, a one mana just draw a card. That seems okay. All right, agent. I'm not gonna give him the good game just yet, but it's coming. Ah, okay, they, they found out. Yeah, yeah. Turns out Castle Vantress, really, really strong in the late game. Who would have known? Who would have thunk it? Yeah, it's, it's legit. Alright, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, not spending coins on packs because I'm saving them for the historic bundle, so sorry about that, folks. In the meantime, though, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.